Scratch, Bastard, and Buck65 have been working together for years. Hi, welcome to WatchMojo.com. I'm your host, Layla. Today, the duo share some of their stories with us. Do you remember the old ways of rocking it, laying the law down, a microphone talking it, telling it, spelling it out, and block capitals, cardboard box, and a rap battle in life? So can one of you first tell me how you guys met and started working together? I was hosting a radio show in Halifax, um, just like a college radio show for... Uh, many years. When I was in junior high school, I listened to his radio show. He used to play some of his music on his show, too. One day, uh, he was performing at uh, Dio Mio, which was an ice cream store that fit about 50 people inside it. And he was performing a show there, and I went to see him, and it was like, wow, this, is, this guy's awesome. I think later we met at a DJ competition, right. yeah. which is when we first kind of chilled and hung out. Border towns burning, churches with the roof off, searching for purchases, we play fighting, goof off, streets ain't safe, television talking trash, traveling, horseback collecting, scars fucking cash. So your fan also turned out to be your rival. What struck you about Paul? You know, Paul here uh, has, has talent that I think uh, absolutely uh, needs and deserves to be uh, recognized on a on a global scale. So when we first started working on a record together, I think our ambitions for it started out small uh, to the point where we hadn't even really thought much at all what we would do with it. I, I know uh, in a really early discussion we had just like, you know, maybe we'll do a seven inch single and press up 500 copies of it or something. Pocket changes, rocket rages, seeking the heat. Straight bustling, hustling, freaking the beat. Shark circling, working beats, buzzing like cell phones. Hell knows, yes, y'all, it's like an elbow. The record's called Situation, which is um, <clears throat> something of a reference to uh, sort of a strange political art organization called Situationist International. Customize hard rod, fire your shit face. Funny paper, shy money, can't buy a good taste. Heads popping off, you're an orgasmatic. Buzzing supper time, you all haven't had it. When you listen to the record, there's like uh, a lot of character descriptions. That's what I think a lot of the songs are pretty much character descriptions. It's just, uh, you know, a fun record about uh, you know, perverts and low lives, basically. <laughs> White rice and vegetables, wild style illegible, people skills dubious, memory incredible, lemons and rusty cages, dusty pages turning over, calling shots, color commentary, yearning clover. I read that your rise to fame wasn't through the most conventional, gimmicky way. Any thoughts on this in retrospect? I'd just say that's a tough thing to do, you know. It is a, it's a very difficult thing to do and, you know, um, one person could look at the, you know, sort of career I have and the kind of records I make and, and think that, you know, by my record company signing me to a contract, they were taking an enormous risk because it's not the most easily marketable thing and it's not very gimmicky. But the fact is, I worked extremely hard for about 10 years on my own working as an independent artist before signing my record deal. Tenfold, even women wondering men fold, struggling, sick in the head like land gold. And I think you can find success faster if you have some sort of gimmick or something really marketable for a label to latch on to. But if you don't, it's not impossible. You just have to work very hard. Dang, diggy, dang, 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 dang. Guys, thank you very much for your time. You're welcome.